All right, fire away. Coach, to, a, a win like that on the road, especially the way you want it, does that jump start the team a little bit? Well, I just, I just think, think that for that day, for that moment, you know, the things that we've been doing, it validates it. You know, we we uh, beat a tough Clemson team. That was that was a gritty win by those guys. And you know, I think that it will carry momentum. Uh, but at the same time, too, uh, you know, a new game, you know, uh, different style. So uh, we got to come ready. You know, we got to build on it. I, you know, I, yes, it gave us momentum. It, we were feeling good right now. But at the same time, we gotta we gotta we gotta carry that. You know, we gotta carry that, and that's the thing uh, we need carry over. Um, you know, for what happened on Wednesday. You play a team with a very different style than a lot of the ones you've seen. The slower pace in Virginia. Kind of what have you seen from them on tape? And obviously, they're pretty good defensively as well. Yeah, well, you know, first of all, Tony's done a great job. Was hell of a basketball player too. Most people don't know that, um, but. Uh, I think they are really good defensively. Uh, tempo is really slow. Um, deliberate about what they're trying to do. We'll take opportunity breaks when they have them. But uh, we got to do a good job of, of moving the ball. We can't hold the ball as much. Uh, we got to create leads on passes. You know, we have to we have to be very very on point with our decision making. Um, you know, so uh, these are things that. You know, quite frankly, we, we did it last game, but before that, you know, in, in, in stretches, we weren't doing things that, we weren't doing those things well, and, and they cost us games. And that's, again, what I'm talking about with the carryover. But, you know, Virginia is a, a very feisty team. I would, I, was, I, would, I would categorize them as that. And I think that, uh, you know, in watching them, especially their last game against Virginia Tech, uh, you know, Tony must have got after them really well uh, in those practice sessions, because, um, you know they were they were back doing the things they they do being in gaps you know creating turnovers um, you know really really being physical you know the physicality of the game you know was there for them so uh, you know we got our hands full but I'm excited about the opportunity I know the guys are as well but it, you know offensively taking care of the ball defensively uh, they work deep into that shot clock we got to be ready for that as well. You you have a, a guy like Ty that came in and made some big contributions in that game. Defensively, Vi seems to get in foul trouble. Um, is Ty a guy that could maybe take over some of the load off of him defensively because he's maybe more, a little more of a physical type player? That's his style. I mean, I, I think the game, each game is different. So, you know, I mean, um, by he, you know, again, what we ask him to do as a freshman, you know, we ask him to score, we ask him to rebound, we ask him to defend. Um, you know, I think Ty, along with Evie, they got they got to both be good for us each and every game. Ty was good for us last game. Evie's been good for us some game. We need we need to get all of our bigs playing playing well at the same time because we need them all, especially as we start to face you know uh, different opponents. You know, again, each game poses a different challenge. Last game against Clemson, you know, they were they were big heavy and they kicked our butt on the glass. Shefflin. You know, Hall, we got to do a way better job. You know, this game, I don't know uh, if that's the case. We got to do a great job on their perimeters. Um, but at the same time, too, uh, Ty gave us a great spark. And along, uh, along, Ty, along with Evie, they definitely got to got to do do well for us. Um, you know, and help help buy out on the inside. What does a Kowasi meant to this team and this program since you died? Consistency. You know, to me, he. He's been uh, the most consistent player from the day I got here. Um, he's accepted his role and he's been a star in his role. You know, he hits big shots. Uh, you know, he, he'll, he'll get a big rebound. Um, he makes the right play defensively. He's always solid. I always say guys like Wasey, you know, when you don't call their name a lot, you know, he just does the right thing each and every time. And, you know, he's been, again, he's been great from, from the day he walked on campus. Yeah, you talked about learning the league and learning each coach and, and learning the styles of play and all that. Imagine this is a little bit of an interesting line, just given how different this is from most of the teams you play, like just uh, in terms of the pacing and the way Virginia is so methodical. And you guys like to be in transition so much and they try to learn with that. And how different is it like to 
compared to anyone you played this year? I mean, it's different, you know. Um, you know, but I I understand how they play. It's just getting the team to understand. Um, you know, I played in a system like that um, in the NBA, and it's a possession game, and we just gotta we gotta make the most of our offensive possessions. When we get stops, we gotta run out, but we gotta not be selective and not and and not and not play fast. But we gotta make sure we get attempts at the rim. Um, you know, the one thing the one thing about it is. Um, you cannot get bored with doing the same thing every time against Virginia. You know they are who they are. You know they are who they are. Um, they're going. They're going to again. They're going. They're going to be physical on the ball. They're going to tag rollers. They're going to do all the different things. They're going to trap ball screens. And you got to know that. And you got to be able to make a simple pass. Don't get bored. I think a lot of times what ha what's happened to us um, this year is that we get bored with keeping the game simple. We got to keep the game simple <laughs> against these guys and and take what they give us. With uh, with the Clemson game, it seemed like you did a little better job rebounding than the second half. Uh, other than maybe changes, was it more about Kelly going to the boards a little more and, and mixing it up under there and helping out? I don't know if we actually rebounded the ball that well in the second half, neither, to be honest with you. I think, like, you know, we do a good job of giving a collective effort. But this is what I say, you know, I'm a, I'm a realist about basketball sometimes, too. You know, as I'm sitting there coaching the game, I'm saying to myself, at some point, you know, Hall has had a heck of a game. You know, is he going to give us one? He finally missed one. He missed the same shot he'd been making the whole game. You know what I mean? Is Shefflin going to miss one? He missed the same shot he had been, been making the whole game. So, to me, that was the game. And then we made, we made shots. I mean, if you want me to go back and, and point stuff out, I remember – uh, we were down two. We didn't get a rebound. We were up one. We had a chance to get a rebound. So we didn't rebound the ball that well. I've been on them about that all day. We haven't rebounded the ball to me the, the last three games. So, you know, Miles did do a good job. He got a big offensive rebound, and he's been doing a great job of coming back and rebound. But the collective hold, with the exception of Miles, by and, and, and Ty, when, when, he's, when he's playing major minutes, um, we got to get everybody else back on the glass. Wasey didn't have no rebounds that game. Like our, you know, we got to get guys back on the glass. That's that for me is a sore point right now. What, what makes Shefflin so tough on the offensive <clears throat> glass? Just go hard, relentless. You know, most rebounders are relentless. He carves out space. He's an out of area rebounder. Coach, kind of a random question, but uh, how have you been pleased with Kawasi's development so far this season? Uh, he's been great. He, he's he's. To me, he gets better every practice and every game, but I think that he's bought into his role and he's been a star in it. Um, you know, he shot the ball really well. Um, you know, he's his percentages are on par with, you know, his position, some of the best in the league. Um, and I think he'll only get better, you know, and, you know, I'm looking forward to him finishing out this year strong, but looking forward to getting, getting him in the summer. Um, spring and the summer in terms of the, the skill development to, to add more to his game. I think he has a chance, you know, to eventually make money playing the game. Got great size. He can guard. Um, he can really shoot it. Um, a team guy. You know. And has he mentioned by chance uh, the reasoning for his different hairstyles for certain games? No, no. <laughs> I don't ask Wacy. I don't ask Wacy those questions. You know, I just come in and one day is a different color. And one day he dyed his eyebrows. And, hey, I'm all for it, man. You know, to each his own. You know, I'm never gonna take away uh, uh, someone's creativity. So, um, if he like it, I love it. Talking about natives, <laughs> has his improved shooting been all about confidence? Do you think? Yeah, I, I, I've always said that Nate was going, going, you know, shoot the ball better and score the ball better. I mean, I just, I just think he was put in a hell of a spot. You know, um, all of a sudden you go from not playing to starting. You know, that's that's hard to do. And so he didn't have the same process as a lot of people. You know, he had the process that you usually give the one and done type guys. You know, so you know he. He had to learn the position. Um, he, you know, he's gotten tired. He, I thought he hit a little wall, you know, but he's he's got his legs underneath him now, and, I, and he's shooting the ball better. He's playing with just more confidence on the hole.